Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hope you guys are doing well. It's kind of a crazy time right now. But I want to say thank you for watching this video and hope you guys enjoy it. Today's video is this Alabama rig. I've never used one of these before. I've never thrown one of these before, but we're going to give it a shot. Um, in Indiana, you're allowed three hooks. So this has got five on it. So two of them just have the spring connecting and holding the swim bait on. But I've got three hooks on here. They're all weedless rigged up. That way I can cast in the weeds a little bit. And hopefully I can pull some of these fish out of there. It's uh, early April right now. It's, it's getting up to the 50s. It's probably upper 40s, low 50s right now. It's pretty cold. The water temperature is low. These fish are not super active, but I want to give these fish something that uh, will get them excited. A lot of vibrations on this thing. Uh, it catches a lot of weeds, as you can see. I've thrown it a few times. I'm throwing it today on a seven foot Abu Garcia Black Max. This is not what you want to be throwing this thing on. Um, I wasn't sure what to expect, but it is definitely too heavy for this rod and reel. Um, my arm's gonna get tired throwing it. It's a very cool lure, and uh, let's get it in the water and see if we can rip some lips, but uh, stay tuned. It is insanely windy, so stay with me today, guys. But uh, I'm using a heavy duty umbrella rig. I think Frenzy is the name of the people that make it. Um, yeah, it was just a cheapo one that I've got off of tacklewarehouse.com. Pretty excited about it. And I've got five high tech swim baits on there, and three of them have got weighted uh, swim bait hooks for aught. And so I think that's going to be what we're going to use today. But we'll give it a shot and see what happens. Hopefully we don't get into this issue, but if these fish don't grab the right swim bait, they could potentially just pull it off because it's only held on to the spring. And the spring's really strong, but I'm not sure if it's strong enough to hold it from a largemouth bite because those are pretty intense at times. I'm trying to make sure that my swim bait, the tip of the hook, is just buried in that plastic just a little bit. That way it's as weedless as possible. Now I'm gonna go straight to kind of where I've been having some luck at. And I'm gonna go into these uh, submerged logs and there's a little bit of timber there. And right off that edge, there's a little bit of a drop off. And that's where I'm gonna try to cast this thing. It's a beast to cast, but uh, it works pretty good, I think. I've seen a lot of videos where they work great, but we're gonna give it a try today and hopefully we can get some largemouth on it. You wanna make sure you tie yourself a really good knot because if not, you're gonna lose about $30 more than plastic hooks and umbrella rigs. The water's really clear today, which is why I went with a pearl swim bait. Um, sometimes it gets a little bit muddier here and you can use more of like a bluegill color or a shad color. But today I just went with a straight white or pearl and I think that's probably what's going to be the best option if we can get some bites on it. Like I said probably already, the wind is crazy today. That's another reason I think that moving baits is a good option today. Whenever there's a good amount of wind, you typically can do well on these moving baits. So now this reeling this thing in, I'm not really burning it in doesn't sink as low as you'd think it would with all that weight. Kind of stays up high for the most part. It's probably diving three to five feet most times. Uh, if I slow it down, it'll probably go deeper, obviously, but I don't want it to get stuck in the weeds. It has good action. Everything's working well on it. All of these spinnerbait blades, you can tell, are, are hitting hard. They're making a lot of noise. It is, uh, like I said, it's a beast to cast. There's just way too much for this rod. beast to cast. It's way more than this rod and reel can handle, I'm sure. There's a fish. There's a fish. And it's not a bad one. First one on the Alabama rig. How about that? Oh my. What a mess. But he took one of the three. That's good. Got them all weedless swim baits rigged up. First fish, heck yes. Going for a nice, gracious release. Boom, there he goes. All right, I'm gonna make the voyage across the pond. See what we can do over there. One bite there, not bad. Um, definitely works, very cool, I love the lure. We're gonna make a little voyage across the lake here. 
and we're going to see if we can get one on the other side, maybe in a few spots there. I'd like to try to get one on this little sandbar up here. The weeds have died down quite a bit. We've had some snow in the past week or so, and the water tip has gone down, and the weeds are not a little bit. Unfortunately, they're still everywhere in the lawn, but at least the surface is not down. It's not as bad. The wind's probably terrible right now. So uh, let's get back in there and see if we can catch them. All right, we made a little voyage across the lake. We're gonna get back in there and see if we can get a few more. Maybe one more would be cool. Well, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, it's obviously gonna be a short one, only one fish today, but it was a lot of fun to come out here and give it a try. You know, the weather's not cooperating and uh, you just can't do anything about it. The winds today are atrocious, very high winds. But the Alabama rig, is it's fun to throw. I mean, obviously it's got a lot of weeds on there, but it works great. Um, we were able to get one fish. It does work well. It, just because today wasn't a slave fest doesn't mean I'm not gonna say that it was a good rig. Had a couple bites, seen a couple follows. We were just were not able to connect with all the fish. I love that it's got the spinnerbait blades on it. Um, as you see here, it's got these blades too. Um, not all of them have that blade, but these ones do. And I think it really adds to that, the value of this A-Rig because it makes a lot more noise in the water. You know, you can just feel the vibration through your line and through your rod when you're reeling it in. It just shows that uh, it's going to be making a lot of noise down in that water and those fish are going to be getting aggressive and wanting to come up and jump on that. So I would highly recommend this. Like I said, it, I think it's made by Frenzy. And, uh, I got it just off Tackle Warehouse, but you can get it just about anywhere. Sorry about the wind noise once again. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy this episode. And I will catch you on another windy product test episode that uh, we try to catch a lot of fish and we don't catch a lot. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. Peace. Boom! Mm.